Hello and welcome back to CERN. You know, the ATLAS experiment is one of the largest, most complex scientific instruments ever constructed by mankind. It's now been assembled and is waiting for collisions at very high energies, higher than anything we've ever done before. So what's going to happen when we go to these high energies? Is the experiment ready? Is the collaboration ready? What are we going to find? Let's go talk to our spokesperson, Fabiola, and find out. So in the collaboration, you have representatives from countries all around the world. Uh, how many are there? How, how many institutes? How many countries? So we have uh, almost 3,000 uh, scientists working in Atlas, coming from 172 institutions from mm -hmm. uh, 39 countries and the five continents. So it's really a worldwide it's collaboration. It's everyone. Yes. It's everyone, yes. Uh, you, you mentioned that it's a very large, or the largest of the experiments. How, how big is, is Atlas? Atlas is really a big, uh, big instrument. It's mm -hmm. 45 meter long, 25 mm -hmm. meter high, so almost a five-story building. Uh, it's made of uh, 100 million uh, electronic channels, individual electronic channels, mm -hmm. each one giving uh, signals when uh, when particles cross the detectors. Mm -hmm. And so we have, we have to collect those signals, and we need 3,000 kilometers of cable to extract those signals from the detector and collect them uh, and then record on uh, mass storage. So it's really a big monster. I know we're going to have high energy collisions yes. very soon. What, so what will happen? So the LHC is now going to open the door uh, to an unknown territory because uh, mm -hmm. nobody has ever explored the uh, 7 TV region. The, the collisions that the LHC will provide mm -hmm. soon uh, are going to be uh, 3.5 uh, times higher energy than, uh, than the most powerful accelerator today on, on Earth. Mm -hmm. Will Atlas itself have to make a lot of changes to be ready for this stage? No, I don't think so. I, I think we are um, all set. Mm -hmm. um, we are ready to record collisions. We mm -hmm. uh, also the the rest of the experiment, not only the detector but also the software tools, the computing worldwide computing grid mm -hmm. is ready. And so we are just uh, impatient. At these higher energies, higher than we've ever had before, we hope to find new discoveries. What could be some of the early discoveries we might see? Yeah, I can speculate within the scenarios that have been uh, developed by, uh, by us, by physicists, uh, uh, by theorists over the last years. So, mm -hmm. for instance, we could discover um, supersymmetry. Supersymmetry uh, is, a, is, a, is a theory beyond what we know uh, today, which predicts a new spectrum of particles. And this will be particularly nice because one of these particles, called the neutralino, mm -hmm. has exactly uh, the features and the properties that uh, um, of the of the uh, mysterious particles that uh, uh, makes up uh, dark matter in the universe, mm -hmm. but there are other scenarios: um, the possibility of discovering new forces, the possibility of discovering new space dimensions. Of course, mm -hmm. all of them are very intriguing. However, I must say that nature is always more more clever and more um, uh, interesting than all our speculations. So I mm -hmm. really do hope we can find something new and unpredicted. Now, there's a lot of talk about uh, the Higgs as, as an important particle to discover, something that's missing from our current puzzle. Uh, when will we find that? The Higgs will require some more time. You know, it will require a lot of experimental, solid experimental work, first of all, to understand very well the detector performance, to measure all these backgrounds before we are able to claim a discovery. Mm -hmm. And this will require a lot of data. Mm -hmm. So the Higgs is not for tomorrow. No. A few years, maybe? A few years, maybe. In a few years' time. Yes. So it, it seems that one way or the other, we're going to find something that's, that's very important for us, us physicists, to, to understand uh, the composition of, of matter. H how is this important in the big picture? How, how will this affect us, people back at home? I, I think that, uh, uh, that some, uh, many of the discoveries that we are um, hopefully going to, uh, to do at the LHC are so important uh, from the knowledge, fundamental knowledge viewpoint that everybody should feel uh, concerned. Mm -hmm. Besides that, we never know what the consequences of these of this discoveries are. Every single step forward in fundamental knowledge mm -hmm. is a step forward in, in progress. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, uh, it's very difficult to predict uh, the, um, the consequences also in the practical life beyond fundamental knowledge, but we can be sure that there will be positive consequences for all of us. So Atlas is about to visit the unknown. Some of the particles that we expect to find, we might in the next couple years, such as supersymmetry. Other things like the Higgs, 
that might take a bit longer. Fabiola has told us that she's hoping we find something we never expected before. I hope she's right. One thing's for sure, whatever we do find, mankind will absolutely benefit from having a better understanding of the world around her. Atlas is ready to go.